I'm Natalia Bonner. It's day 250. Today we're going to be stitching using my 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler. Let's get stitching! I'll begin stitching on the lower right corner of my block. I'm going to hold my 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler so that the 2 inch increment marked line on my block intersects the lower left corner. When that line intersects that corner, I'll start stitching an angular line from the lower right side of the block to the upper left. When I get to the upper left, I'll travel up the ditch moving up a quarter of an inch. From there, I'll adjust my ruler and stitch back down to that lower right corner. I'll repeat this process working back and forth, stitching those angular lines that are just a quarter of an inch apart from the lower right corner to the upper left side of the block until I have filled that side of the block completely. Once I've filled up all of those lines completely, then I'm going to travel down the ditch to the bottom left corner of the block. From there, I'm going to repeat that exact same process, holding the 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler so that the 2-inch increment lines up with that lower right corner. Then from there, I'm going to start stitching those angular lines from the lower left over to the right side of the block, all the way up until I've filled in that block completely. Once I've stitched all those lines, I'll complete this design by stitching in the ditch all the way around the outside of the block. I hope you enjoyed today's block and found a little bit of inspiration with my machine quilting. Now just remember, you can pick up the panel, the rulers, the thread, all of the notions that I'm using in this video today over on my website, peaceandquilt.com. And don't forget to share your progress pictures over on Instagram using the hashtag Let's Stitch with Natalia. That's where we will be selecting winners for weekly prizes. See you all tomorrow. Thank you.